This is self-discovery support and this is going to be your message. This week we're doing a self-focused reading. So it's going to look at you and things you need to know. But we're going to start with this energy look and it's you have pulled the this green card. It's like a tint and... You know, Libra went before and he, Libra pulled a card close to this, but brighter. It kind of feels like, okay, I'll tell you what this feels like energetically. It feels withdrawn. It feels like sorting through the clouds in your mind. It feels like coming through fog. But it also feels like a fresh outlook but softer like it's not like um you're having this massive energetic outlook you know um in the world it's like it's like an inner realization or a soft realization yeah it really reminds me of thought and so let's um let's pull some more cards and see what else is happening here Alright, so Aquarius, you're pulling some of the cards and you're pulling a color close to Libra. So you could, I don't know if you have like Libra in your chart. Some of you could have that placement or maybe because just because your your air signs, there is a, a closeness of experiences. So Knight of Swords is here in your hidden energy. It was also here um, in Libra's reading in another placement. This is a decision to act on something, maybe even a decision to say something. King of Wands as well. I feel like your intuition is telling you that it's time to act. Yeah, there's just like a strong sense. This is a very individual energy. It's like an intuitive call. It feels like a fire inside. I need to take a direction. I maybe need to communicate. Maybe I need to get moving on something. Your thoughts are going. So this is as active, I think, as um, air sign energy, knight of swords. It's swift. Things are moving. And um, that's not unexpected. All right, so let's look at the Page of Cups, the Emperor, Strength, and Wheel of Fortune. Kind of feels like there's some kind of idea, like a new idea, maybe even a new feeling. Maybe you're developing a feeling for something, and it kind of feels like you're wanting to put it through. You're wanting to take this kind of wild, bubbly type of energy or idea or even experience could be with someone and you're wanting to like put it into a place where you can now build it out so it's like it kind of feels like it could be a creative idea or an idea for something but it's like you got this sense and that's that action energy but it's like okay now we need to like pull on our reserve, reserves to, to, to change things. Or maybe it's changing the way that you respond to things. It's a much more kind of masterful way of 
of taking your ideas and shaping it out into the world okay that makes sense that really fits with what you know of aquarius as being the innovators independent thinkers um for some of you here um if you're talking about a a relationship there is a sense that you you there are some like feelings here with um someone for someone that you see as i think you see this person as ideal like you're drawn to them and the strength energy is like it's very le it's leo but it's like okay something can change here something this thing it's almost like asking the question it's like you have a recognition and you you're being asked the question would i change the way i do things or maybe i approach relationships um it just it just was in my mind and it left it's like would i do i have the the bravery to change the way outcomes are it almost feels like you have a, a side of you that you maybe also there's like a sense of control holding back but could you change this thing and that's why the knight of swords is here this is really the card of acting on your passions, right? Acting on your directive and acting on your intuition. Saying what needs to be said. Because we need to get to where we need to go is kind of the king of wands' attitude. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Leo, um, Gemini watery energy type of person because there's really two different energies here and so it's like it feels like how do you deal with someone that is very different from you maybe you have to change your approach here all right so the question is that if i changed would i have a different outcome and i think the cards here are saying yes it's time to act i saying to say what you need to say and of course i never advocate saying harmful or damaging things um but that that saying can almost find its way of like expressing to the world who you are expressing to someone your intentions your thoughts you know these types of things so let's pull out changes for a better card for you Okay, so it is, ad okay, okay, I think I'm seeing what is happening here. So it, this is pointing to things that you, you were in Knights of Swords energy, right? That's quicker. That's more air energy, but it's like, sometimes you can say things that, um, the Knights of Swords, that come out in a certain way, that land differently, um, You know, it's like you have this page of cups intention. It's like you have this intention to be or you have this feeling of being soft and caring. But the thing you say with the emperor, it's like it's a controlled um, emotional response. Okay, that's just something that's coming up. Knight of Pentacles, this is Virgo energy, is to take your time bit by bit to be consistent if it's a relationship here consistency is going to be key trustworthiness and a plan is going to be key if it's um, more out in the world we're talking about a creative idea before it is day by day doing the work towards your idea is going to bring the changes it's going to break you out of um, the limitations that you feel because there's something blocking you manifesting in a bigger way. I think I feel like this is almost like a life path reading for Aquarius. But there is something here that's stopping you from manifesting in a certain way. And it's these thoughts, it's these beliefs that are blocking you. 
Knight of Pentacles is a very good way to break out of that because when you do something consistently over time, your beliefs get reset. You start to affirm to yourself that this is who I am. I can trust myself. And I, then you slowly you get to where you're going to be or you need to be that wheel of fortune energy, right? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If you did like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see more of these videos, yeah, do subscribe. I'd like to have you here again. So take care and all the best.